In this video we're going to divide the monomials and then add like terms. I'll do example one and then hopefully uh, you can press pause and do example two. I, I mean I mean to say we'll do example one together and then hopefully you can do this all by yourself. So please uh, write this one down. Write down example one. That's 35 uh, or sorry, 34 times 8 to the power of 5 over 17 a squared minus 20 times 8 to the power of 8 over 4 times 8 to the power of 5. Okay. So please uh, write that down and we'll do it together now. So basically, um, you probably don't need PEMDAS to tell you this, but you got to divide before you subtract, right? So obviously, the order of operations does apply here because we're or simplifying. So, I mean, you know, we divide and then we subtract, but probably didn't need PEMDAS to tell you that. It's So, we, we can simplify this, right? Now, you can use your, when you divide by, well, we'll start with the number first, sorry, start with the number. So, 34 over 17, what does that give you? Two 15s are 30, right? Two 15s are 30. Two 17s are, in fact, 34. So, that is, that is 2, right? Now if you look at a to the power of 5 over a squared, you can use your um, dividing by the same base. These have the same base, so you can subtract and you can you can get, you know, uh, write that as um, a to the power of 5 minus 2, which is a cubed, right? So you get 2a cubed. Uh, or you can um, just expand it out and cross cancel. So you'd have five a's here, one, two, three, four, five, and two a's at the bottom, one, two. And then when you cross cancel, you end up with three a's at the top, okay? Or a cubed. So you should be able to simplify that to be two a cubed. And then this big subtract sign comes down like that. Now, can you simplify this one? 20 a to the power 8 over 4 a to the power 5. Go ahead and simplify that. What's 20 over 4? 20 over 4 is 5. If you're dividing by the same base, a to the power 8 over a to the power 5, you can write that as a to the power 8 minus 5. Or, if you like, you can just write it out. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 A's, and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 A's. And when we cross cancel, we're going to cross cancel 5 from the top and 5 from the bottom, right? And they'll all make 1's, right? You'll be left with 3 A's at the top, or A cubed. So in any case, you should end up with 5 A cubed. So what we have is 2a cubed minus 5a cubed. Can we put those two terms together or not? Are they like terms or are they unlike terms? So these are like terms, aren't they? You can write subtraction as plus negative if you want to. Now it says 2a cubed plus a negative 5a cubed, right? So two positives, five negatives, that makes negative three a cubed, negative 3 times a to the power of 3, right? So please write this one down, then press pause and do it yourself. It's 36 times y to the power of 9, that's a 9, over 6y, that's a 6, and then minus 56y to the power of 11 over 7 times y cubed. So please press pause, write this down, and then do it yourself. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So if I divide 36 divided by 6, I get 6. y to the power of 9 divided by y. y is the same as y to the power of 1. So we can write this as y using this the division rule, the uh, quotient property of exponents. That's y to the power of 9 minus 1. Okay? So we end up with 6 times y to the power of 8. If we wanted to, we could have written this with 9 y's up here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 1 y down here. And then one of them would cross cancel, and you'd be left with 8 y's on the top. Okay, so y to the power of 8. 
Okay, then bring down the big subtraction sign. Subtract. 56 over 7 gives what? 8, right? y to the power of 11 over y to the power of 3. Again, you can use the quotient property of exponents. If you divide, that becomes y to the power of 11 minus 3, the top number and minus the bottom, because you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 y's up here, and 1, 2, 3 down here. And when you cross off three of them on the bottom with three of them on the top, you're left with 8 on the top. Okay, so that's why that becomes, this becomes y to the power of 8. So you have 6 y to the power of 8 minus 8 y to the power of 8. What does that give you? These are like terms, aren't they? They're the same power of y. Same power of y. So you can add those together. 6 y to the power of 8 plus a negative 8 y to the power of 8. 6 positives, 8 negatives. Negative 2 y to the power of 8. And that's the answer.